Welcome to the Hudson River. I'm Jay Ming. And I'm Monica. And we are going to show you the wildlife that you can find around here. Did you know there are over 200 species of fish in the Hudson? To document these fish, we go seining. First, we have to put on our waterproof waders. We're filling up the buckets where we'll place the fish we catch. Next, we'll have to walk over to where we'll start seining. Seining is an ancient technique first used by indigenous people. Two people drag a 10 foot long net through the water while the others stay behind the net to keep it from getting caught. Our goal is to catch as many different fish as we can so we can identify what species of fish live in the Hudson River. While we wait for them to finish seining, I'll teach you guys how to skip stones. Find a really flat rock, get really low to the ground, and throw it parallel to the ground. Instead of throwing the rock upwards, throw it parallel. Looks like they're back. Let's see what we caught. Oh, I chucked them into the whatever bucket. Oh, that's the, the, sure the that's crab. a temperature bucket. Can yeah. I grab one? Oh, you got one. Which one? Right oh, wrong one. It, it's a, no, no, this that's one. Okay, we'll no, shift no, no, them over. One. Just put them in the water for now. Okay. Got some moon jelly. Looks like Marissa caught a crab. Oh, we got one of the shore crab. It was a shore crab. Oh. Let's show us the camera. Species, right? Yeah. Yeah, we'll put that in this little thing. Alright, who wants to grab that crab? Which one? Right there. The big one. Um, We're gonna go out for a second scene to catch some more fish. Let's see what we catch next. Pretend this is the bottom of the river. When seining, this pole must touch the bottom and you have to drag it like this so that the fish don't get out. Also, be sure to hold the pole at a 45 degree angle. When seining, be sure to keep it locking. If you slow down, the fish might get out. If you find that you can't move the net, it's probably stuck, so you have to lift it from the bottom so that you can get rid of the rock or plank that's making you not move. This is a male mummy chug. Yeah. It has beautiful colors and stripes. Mummy chugs are also called midminnows. This name comes from the fact that they burrow themselves into mud yeah. when they get caught in low tide water. Here is a clearer picture of the mummy chug. This male has a beautiful yellow belly that, during mating season, will attract female mates. Here's an example of data that we got from one or two saints. We have lots of animals like shrimp, mummy chugs, clams, oysters, and Atlantic silver sides. There are lots of clams on the Hudson River floor. We even catch mussels and oysters sometimes. You can find lots of ducks who make their nests in the marshes. It's always really cute to see the little ducklings waddling with their mom. A lot of the times when we sane, we come across these ducks swimming in the water. This is a beautiful diamondback terrapin turtle. They live on the brackish marshes of the Hudson River. This little guy was waddling across the street. These are copepods, cute microscopic creatures that you'll find in the Hudson. To find microscopic creatures, we use a field microscope. We try to find plankton, which are producers at the very bottom of the food chain. There are really low levels of plankton in the river because it is turbid, meaning the water is not very clear, and the plankton needs sunlight to photosynthesize. The early summer has also been cool with a lot of rain, so it may be too early to find large amounts of plankton in the Hudson. While there are crabs like blue crabs that are native to the Hudson, there are also invasive species such as the Asian shore crab. Invasive species outcompete the native species, and because they have no natural predators, they multiply very quickly, which can greatly disturb the ecosystem. Before, you may have heard Marissa bring up the shore crabs. Oh, we got one of the shore crabs. Oh. After lots of observations, we identified it as a Harris mud crab, not an Asian shore crab. Unlike Asian shore crabs and like the blue crabs, the Harris mud crab is native to the Hudson. We hope you learned some things about the Hudson wildlife. Look for these animals next time you come to the pier. Yes, bye! bye.